Okay, so for last example we can talk about, there's going to be a lot less writing on this. Actually, there's almost no writing. There might even be none more. Uh, is the idea of logic puzzles. And logic puzzles is a big chunk of 1.2 and towards the end of it. And it gets through you know particular problems of, of problem solving with the ideas of you know figuring things out. And so they can be you know, riddles, you can go through simple examples of, of, of impossible events, you know, is, you know, do certain things make sense. Um, other examples would be, uh, you know, going to the island in, of knights and knaves where all the knights tell the truth and all the knaves lie. And the idea of, a, or you could sit there and have conditions of, you see people and two people are standing in one way or possibly three others were doing this and four others and so who's the murderer you know those sorts of logic puzzles is really just a specification it's a combination of the human language problem as long as as well as system specifications of going to when does this evaluate to be true if you said if then how do these particular things work out and so logic puzzles themselves are like i said it's just simply a combo of the idea of a language discussion with the logic operators and understanding of them, uh, plus this idea of system specification, because really, what it, what are we talking about? System specification is just simply it's a group of you know statements that we're trying to work out and a logic puzzle usually just simply involves these sorts of things and you know examples of that would be say the night knave problem so a knight always tells the truth a knave on the other hand will always negate a statement whatever it is and so what I mean uh, a knight tells the truth really simply says that if we have P, he spits out the proposition. So if he's if it's no, it's no. His, his no is no, his yes is yes. On the other hand, a knave, what he does, I shouldn't have an arrow because it's not implication. Uh, a knight will be given P, he will say P. On the other hand, for a knave, if he is given a proposition of some sort, he will say it's negation. So he's a negator. And what's kind of interesting about like knights and knave problems is, for example, on a, an island of knights and knaves, uh, no one on that island can say, I am a knave. Because if it's a knight, it would be a lie. He's not allowed to do that. If it's a knave, it would be the truth. He, he always has to lie. So what does a knave say? Well, he has to lie about who he is. So he would say, I'm a knight. What would a knight say? I'm a knight because he is a knight. So everybody goes around saying, I'm a knight, I'm a knight. Nobody says, I'm a knave. That's impossible. So as you go through the, these particular problems, you can ask things like, uh, as you build it up, at least one of us is a knave. Well, what if you would hear, at least one of us is a knave? Well, can a knave say that? Can a knight say that? What would that mean about the other person if a knight said it? What would it mean? So you would go through this and ask the issues of, is this possible to be said by a particular person? And so these form of riddle discussions about what does it mean? When would this be true? When would this be false? These truth tables, when I get back to saying, understand what your truth tables are, I mean really understand why things are true and why things are false at particular events when things combine together and how they work out. Uh, so night knave problems are classic ones. Uh, other classic ones that you would have on these are obviously like puzzles that are good. You know that are you can solve them by translating into logical statements and reasoning but uh, like number 32 you know one thing I'd like you to try to do on this and so really they're just simply straightforward applications of what we're talking about but another example which is to do at home with someone again 
And actually, I would say more than just like this one. And I really want you to actually have this discussion. Go find somebody and say on page 23 and number 32 of your book, right? It's just this problem, all right? The police have three suspects for the murder of Mr. Cooper, Mr. Smith, Mr. Jones, and Mr. Williams. Now, Smith, Jones, and Williams each declare that they did not kill Cooper. But Smith also states that Cooper was a friend of Jones and that Williams disliked him. Jones also states that he did not know Cooper and that he was out of town the day Cooper was killed. And then Williams also states that he saw both Smith and Jones with Cooper the day of the killing and that either Smith or Jones must have killed him. Can you determine who the murderer was if one of the three men is guilty, the two innocent men are telling the truth, but the statements of the guilty may or may not be true? Or what could you tell what it is is if, if, if innocent man never lie? So you go through these little questions and ask, okay, how, really, if you look at it, this is a system of specification in a way. We're going through and asking for if this is a lie, is he allowed to say it? Um, if this person is innocent, what does that mean? That means he's telling the truth when he's talking, but that if it's the truth, when is it the truth? So really what you need to do is kind of make these into logic, tear it apart. What I want you to do on these sorts of problems, and when you look at the, the, you know, the text on this and other examples, is before we go anything, and like what, I, what I'll do for next class is I want you guys to like email my questions. I don't know how to do this, and we'll solve them. But I really want you to dig through these things, right? There's plenty of examples in the text on how to do logic puzzles and it also helps you, you know, go through particular problems on logic puzzles, uh, like example seven and example eight, or, or the odd ones, and go to the back of the book and look at the answer, and then try to reason backwards. Why is that an answer? Why would the others not be an answer? What's going on? I want you to go and have literal discussions with human beings about this. That's how we get better at at this understanding of uh, logic and reasoning because it is verbal in nature.